evening, everybody. Joe Tessinger alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the middleweight division between these two great warriors. Ward's ring walk. He just exudes confidence, carrying himself like a champion. Sugar Ray Robinson's now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. Introducing first, fighting out of the low corner, the Dream Lord! And his opponents, fighting out of the blue corner, Joker Ray Robinson! Okay, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Well, Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance. What do we look for early? You know, I'm looking to see who can be more consistent in just one area. Who uses their jab a little bit steadier? Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Ray. Good scoring counterpunch by Sugar Ray Robinson. Showing some swelling now. <laughs> On the mark, the counter punch by Ray. I guess it's already a sign of things to come. They are not wasting any time toe to toe in round one. If this is an appetizer, please, please bring on the meal. <laughs> and coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Ward. Sugar Ray turned pro at age 19 and ran his record at one point, Teddy, up to 128, 1 and 2. What an incredible run. I mean, the type of run that just could never be done now. No, the first fighter to beat him was Jake LaMotta, and that was a very close fight. And just the incredible amateur background he had. He was undefeated. He was 85 and 0 as an amateur. So obviously he already understood several things. Technically he was solid. He had great talent, but he understood how to win. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Defense just covering up down low. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Good block there by Sugar Ray Robinson. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a non-stop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Listen, I need to okay? Whenever he misses, go. Make your presence known. Search yourself. I'll search your punches. Here 
Here we go. Round two is underway. Nice block by Ward. Well placed counter punch by Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just the faster, quicker fighter, and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent. Oh, he has that physical. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Ward stunned and he is hurt. And he continues to hold there. Hey, hey, no holding, no holding. Come on, punch it out. And he pulls the trigger again. Teddy, he went from being on the edge of the cliff to now climbing back up the mountain. Well, you know, that's where you'd want to know if a guy recovers fast. Obviously, he has the capacity to recover very quickly. What a good counterpunch by Ray. Would you rather have a fighter who's feared or a fighter who's fearless? I feel like I'm talking to Sonny from the bronze tail, but I think that I would rather have a guy... Holy cow! Ward's in a bad place right now! He was tagged! Now he's just walking him back a bit there, up against the ropes. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Sugar Ray Robinson. And a sharp counter punch by Ward. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh boy, what a round. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counter punch by Ward. What a chin. And can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? Devastating blow by Ward. Ward's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Final 10 seconds of round number two. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late back to fight action as a new round is underway of course in that last round it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Ward's eye to me is getting worse as things continue on here. Teddy, he's got to be very conscious of that, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, and his corner has to be too. They got to be thinking about... If it gets to the point where he can't defend himself, they have to do something. Obviously, they didn't come here thinking they were going to have to do. Stop this fight. Ray Robinson with 108 knockouts. You're lucky if a lot of fighters have had 108 fights, even back in his day. Look, he was a great puncher with either hand, had great speed. He could put punches together in combination. He could use his legs or he could fight with you. And one thing that sometimes gets forgotten about is he had one of the great chins in the history of the sport. That guy had an iron beard. Keep 
Ward's now battling two opponents. The guy standing opposite him trying to punch him and his eyes swelling. Yeah, he can't see what's coming at him right now. Devastating blow by Sugar Ray Robinson. You know, I wonder if he's taking his man lightly because he is up on the scorecards, but you can see that he is being pressured and pushed. You know, he's in there with a real solid guy. I don't think he's taking him lightly. It's just that he's in there in the kind of waters he's never been before. Deep waters. And he's swimming harder than he's ever had to swim before. A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. See their man coming off stride. And a smart counter punch by Ray. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Holy cow! Wards hit hard that time. What a solid hook to the body. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Gets rid of that effort. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. the start of a new round but it's the action that was put forth in a damaging way in the last round that's carrying over the storyline here he's in prime position to end this fight now he is and i think that right now his opponent is probably thinking about another line of work so if he jumps on him maybe he removes this guy nice block by ray Smart counter punch by Ward. Wow, is he defensively sound? And he pulls the trigger again. Ward's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. Good block by Ward. Very nice defensive guard there. Way through this round. Ward's really disappointing us with his lack of work to the body. Yeah, it is. Ray Robinson was able to win the welterweight title, then won the middleweight title a year later. Teddy, what do you think he was at his best weight at? I think welterweight. I think the greatest welterweight of all time. And that's quite a compliment. <laughs> in the opening two minutes a minute to go in this round locks that punch Solid counter punch by Ward. Targeting each other, the exchange. 
match was something special. Coming to the end of this round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone and where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. All right. Let's go on that side. Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Ward's making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. Good way to protect the midsection. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it back and forth, toe to toe, punch for punch. One for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Well done. Three-punch series of punches there by Sugar Ray Robinson. Keeping his hands up, getting away of his opponent's efforts. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Teddy, is this becoming a mental thing with him? I mean, he's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. You know, that's a good question. Sometimes a guy is making a sound. There it is! Ward's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. No holding! Very clean offense from defense by Ray. All right, come on now. Come on, work it out, work it out. Some Unable here. to steady himself right now after being stunned. Come on now, guys. Come on. Keep busy. Keep busy. Good block there by Ward. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Ward. Getting him into the place he wants to. That's against the ropes. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. a new round underway and in that last round he got tagged he got hit pretty hard Teddy yeah he did he got caught but now the first thing is we all know he got caught but why did he get caught he has to be able to decipher that in his head he has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again
Ward's thinking defense first right now, Teddy. I mean, you can just see it in him. He's thinking strictly, hey, what happened earlier, I don't want that to happen again. And that's what his opponent wants him to think. So that's all you need to know that you can't think that way, especially since that's not his style. Joe, if he was a counterpuncher, he'd be okay. You know, your defense creates offense when you're a counterpuncher. He is not that kind of fighter. He can't win this way. <laughs> Nothing there on the punch by Sugar Ray Robinson. Ward's opponent is having a field day here. I mean, just so accurate upstairs. But there's one reason he's so accurate. He's not moving his head. No, he's not at all. And if he's not going to move his head, at least do something else. Catch and pitch. What I mean by that, Joe, is block and then pitch right back. Keep your opponent honest. He's not doing that either. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Ward. Ward's just not himself, and he hasn't been for quite some time. Now, I know he got rocked earlier in this fight. You think that's got anything to do with it? You know, I think physically he's overcome it, but mentally that's lingering on. His confidence has not come back. His legs are there, but not his mind. One minute to go in a round that feels like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're meeting each other. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Punch by Ward. There it is! And a flush hook lands by Sugar Ray Robinson. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll take care of the cut. There's nothing. A small cut, nothing to worry about. Let's get on that swelling. I'll press on that. Halfway through the scheduled rounds here. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Well-targeted counterpunch by Ward. Oh, and look at this, Teddy, wasting no time getting to know each other. No, they came right to the center ring and said hello. Good exchange. He fires back. Ward's cut is really a mess right now, and it could jeopardize this fight for him right here. Teddy, is there blame that needs to be placed on his cut man? Could he have done more? Well, really, the trick to being a cut man is pretty simple. Oh, and there you go. Ward's oh, no. in Work bad out. shape. Sugar Ray Robinson is trying to create some space. You can see how he's going about it there. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Wow! Ward, oh! Ward's the first knockdown victim of the night in this fight. up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy <laughs> able to dismiss that body shot oh that's 
gotta hurt. Whoa! And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. <laughs> Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Ward. Well, this isn't a bad form of defense. You know who did it to you, so stay away from him, right? Exactly. Keep range a little bit. Now it's up to his opponent to close that range. Targeted counter punch by Ward. Close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is it. This fight is over. Sugar Ray Robinson's gonna be partying tonight. A knockout victory. Your winner. Sugar Ray! Sugar Ray Robinson's your winner by knockout, Teddy. Well, we came in wondering whether or not his opponent had a good chin. We